Hey there everyone, welcome back to Mega Man X. Today we'll be taking on Armor the Armadillo. <coughs> Did anyone else ever think that the, uh, you know, the little intro before you reach the boss is really a very, very, very lazy attempt to try and make a 16-bit version of the original theme that was in Mega Man? Anyway, uh, Armored Armadillo, uh, known in Japan as Armor Armage, he is an armadillo type maverick from Mega Man X. He was a maverick hunter from the 8th Armored Division under Sigma, and was very loyal and was a very loyal soldier. soldier. When his master rebelled against humankind, he followed suit only to be loyal. In Maverick Hunter X, he is voiced by uh, Kenta Miyake in Japan and Noah Umholtz in North America. So, uh, Armored Armadillo is a pretty interesting maverick. Uh, oh, this section. Uh, if you hit the spikes on those uh, guys right there, then they're instant death. They count as spikes. So, well, duh. Anyway. Armadillo Sage is obviously underground because he's an arm he's an armadillo. Uh, anyway, there's not much to say about him. He's pretty generic as a boss, and he's probably one of the easier bosses once you uh, have his weakness. If you don't have his weakness, he's probably one of the more annoying bosses due to his high defensive stat. But we'll be seeing him in about another three minutes. Anyway, uh, if you hear that noise in the background whenever I pick up something that. Um, then you'll know that I am collecting subtank energy. Basically, subtank energy is energy that's filling up the subtanks that I can use later in case I'm about to die. Like I said, subtanks are just basically glorified E tanks, so in a lot of ways in Mega Man X, they're not really useful. When we get to the Zero series, they'll start becoming more useful because they don't take up their entire contents in five seconds. It's really stupid in this game. It's one of the gayer things about Mega Man X. Gay people don't take that personal. <laughs> and that's me trying to be awesome and getting killed. <laughs> yeah. I like the background music of Armored Armadillo stage. It actually really fits his uh, character. That's the best way I think that you should take on that thing. That driller enemy. And uh, if you get through here before he gets up there, you can jump up to the side and grab a heart tank. Extra health, yummy health. And that's the last one we'll be seeing with these guys. Doing like points only. Uh, we're almost at the end of Armored Armadillo stage, actually. After this one section, and my initial death at his fight, because I hate Armored Armadillo. He's, such an, he's an annoying maverick to fight. He's easy, but he's also one of the more annoying mavericks because of his ease. He'll start getting a bit cocky when fighting him, and he's pretty dangerous. Due to what one attack that he has. Anyway, he's weak to uh, Spark Mandel's weapon. And here we're meeting our marsupial friend. I believe armadillos are marsupials. If you charge, if you have the uh, Buster upgrade, uh, then you can charge up uh, Spark Mandel's weapon and therefore cause the uh, cause a major damage to armored armadillo. Uh, when you when I use the weapon, you might have noticed that uh, his armor fell off of him. Even though I'm going to use the subtank, I'm still going to die. Uh, uh, you might notice that his armor came off him. Basically, that means that his defense is lower, and now he's easier to fight. Armor of Adilla is an annoying maverick because of the fact that he can just fly around the entire room like, like he does. And that's just an annoying attack that's not easy to dodge, in my personal opinion. It gives you probably one of the better, better abilities in the game. Oh, I was wrong. I didn't die. Hmm. I don't know what I was talking about. I think I was thinking about another Maverick. Either way, either way see ya, Armored Armadillo. <clears throat> yeah, you! You got the rolling shield. 
uh, the term shield is actually correct, because when you charge up the rolling shield, you actually get a shield that defends you against attack. It's not as good as a Sting Chameleon's charged up weapon. That's our code. Uh, the game does run off a password, so... Anyway, next time we'll be taking on Launch Octopus, but first off we have to get the <sighs> uh, sub-tank that I missed. Um, after the first time that you see one of those rolling guys, there's a sub-tank behind him. I just wanted to get that, so I had it. Anyway, I'll see you all next time for uh, Launch Octopus. Thanks for watching. <laughs>